Well, hello there, it's Wayne Robson again. Now, this is quite a short video. Um, if you're dealing with footage uh, that is in anamorphic footage, so the pixel aspect ratio, you know, be 0 0.5, so um, it's quite useful because the renders can also be faster. It's also a good tip if you want to have faster renders. That look, it can help look a bit more cinematic, but that's really just a misnomer. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is bring in some footage. Now, first thing you'll notice, this is a long sequence. It's from um, the short I did a long time ago, Monsters. Never got around to doing the episode two of it. Uh, this is just one of the camera moves, uh, making it sequences. I'm going to bring it in. Now, the first thing you'll notice about this is it's squashed. Now, if I just quickly jump over to Photoshop, that's the way it should look. Right? If, if I just quickly add a bit of black into the background like that, that's the way it should look. Obviously, it's not looking like this on here. So, um, you could do all sorts of this, right? And it's easier a lot of the time uh, to deal with things um, like, you know, equal grading and stuff like that, you know what I mean? Well, a little, little bit of blue. Um, let's see. Um, we could try a defocus. Now the aspect ratio then you'd put as 0.5, not one because we're using the 0.5 aspect ratio. You could do a default, so I'm not going to do too much on that. It's just basically to show you that it would work in a second. And we'll assume we've done lots of stuff on it, okay? So what you need to do now, and this is the way I do it anyway, is a reformat node, okay? And I'm going to stick this and I'll go like that. Now you see, this doesn't look right, does it? So I need to make a new output format. First thing we do, I'm just going to call it uh, YouTube Nuke, so I know what it is. Now, the actual frames themselves, uh, if I go in here, I've just got to change this over the other side. So you can see 1280, 720, okay? So, go into here, and I'll just put 1280. He says, looking over the microphone to make sure he gets it right. Now, you may be tempted uh, to put a pixel aspect ratio of 0 0.5. Now, if you do 0 0.5, right, it's going to do that. So it's going to have double anamorphic, and you really don't want that. We're effectively uh, stretching it back out. So we'll put it like this. I'll just, you can see this still doesn't look right. It's cropped, right? So what we've got to do is we go to distort. And it will fill it properly into the frame, right? So you've got, there's lots of filters. To be honest, I've never bothered with the bloody things at all. So our default was is now a proper anamorphic blur. Now, you can get really deeply into um, sort of motion blurs and stuff like this. This has got a lot of stuff already baked in um, from it. So I'll just switch that off. And we've got the full sequence in here. Uh, and that's how you would unwrap it. My tip would be to only switch the reformat on at certain points. By the way, if you another quick tip, if you're new to new and you want it to quickly fill the viewer, press H, right? So if I did that again, it'd obviously make it a little bit weird and just press H. Boom, there you go. So it's a really quick video of this one, but I know there's people out there that are dealing with anamorphic footage on a regular basis. I thought it might be a quick, fun one to have. Bye-bye.